Mr. Satan is your typical gimmick character in a fighting game. A character that isn't strong in the show and has to resort to weird gimmicks to try and win the match against an opponent that is, without a doubt, much stronger than him. This isn't necessarily something new to fighting games, but in Dragon Ball Fighters, Arc System Works would have a massive challenge to overcome if they decided to include Mr. Satan in the roster. You see, one of the universal mechanics of Dragon Ball Fighters is the Super Dash, and Mr. Satan can't fly. I mean, he has tried, but he simply can't do it. Arc System Works has done away with the universal mechanics before. Videl has a spot dodge instead of the normal reflect. But to replace the super dash, they would need to give him something equally as powerful, and that's not an easy problem to solve. Previous games have given him a jetpack, which, although it's a funny solution, I don't believe it's something Arc System Works would go for, given how close they try to be to the source material. The only move I've seen them adapt from other Dragon Ball games was Android 17's level 3. So until now, I've held back on making a moveset prediction for Mr. Satan, precisely because I didn't know what to do about the Super Dash, but boys, I think I've found the answer. My name is Globku and this is Mr. Satan's moveset prediction. Before we jump into it, a quick word from today's sponsor, Surfshark. There are a lot of ways to protect yourself online with a VPN, but Surfshark is one of the best and most affordable options out there. For a limited time, you can get an 83% discount if you sign up for a two-year plan on surfshark.deal slash Globku. If you type code Globku, it brings your membership down to less than $2 a month and you even get a free month on top of it. Surfshark is available on all platforms you can use it on your PC, phone or tablet. You can even do it at the same time because it works on unlimited devices so you don't have to log out of your PC for it to work on your phone or tablet. It's incredibly user friendly. Having a VPN like this not only makes your internet connection a lot safer, it allows you to see the internet from other countries. Is the anime you want to watch not on Crunchyroll? Then use your VPN to browse from the US. Clear your cache and there you go, the episodes are now available. This also works on Netflix, YouTube, you name it. So for less than $2 a month you're getting a lot more privacy when you browse, your connection is a lot safer and you can enjoy shows that are only available in other countries. Don't lose this limited time offer. Surfshark.deal slash Globku and use code Globku for an 83% discount plus a free month when you sign up for a two-year plan. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Also, if you're in need of more Dragon Ball Fighters from yours truly, I stream on Twitch every Tuesdays and Thursdays, link down below. Now here's how to solve the Mr. Satan problem. We're gonna use what I'm calling the Low Wayne gimmick. Low Wayne is a character in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. He's got a lot of gimmicky moves and ridiculous attacks even summons a goddess at some point, and when he wins a fight, you can see him with his buddies just having a drink instead of having your usual victory pose. This is because the fight you just played didn't really happen. Lo Wayne was just talking to his brothers explaining how we would win the fight, and this is a perfect setup for Mr. Satan. This is exactly what he did with Cell after Gohan defeated him, and also what he did with Majin Buu and even Lord Beerus. He told the press some ridiculous story of how he was able to defeat them while we, the viewer, know exactly what happened and how impossible what he's saying would be. That's right, brother, I'm the world champion, and I have defeated the evil Beavis! Not only does this solve our Super Dash problem, it also allows us to have some more unrealistic moves in his moveset. Because if he wins the battle, it was all a story that he told the reporters while sitting on his throne, drinking a soda and smoking a cigar. That's his victory pose right there, and that's how we solve the Super Dash problem. Unfortunately, this solution doesn't really apply to Master Roshi, so I'm gonna have to keep thinking about that one, but maybe that's a problem for later. For now, let's break down Mr. Satan. We've started with his victory pose, so might as well have his intro, even though this is being told by Mr. Satan, his goofy natures should still be evident, because if he's just as strong as he tells the reporters, then it simply won't feel like Mr. Satan to us, the players. Mr. Satan makes a lot of entrances during his appearances in Dragon Ball, and I mean a lot of them. I'd like to see him with his cape at the start, I think the cape looks really nice, and either take it off in style, or maybe he loses it as he trips and falls face first onto the ground. And of course he would try to play it off as if uh, he's not in agonizing pain. With the cinematics out of the way, it's time to look at how we would play. Mr. Satan's form is actually great. The only reason why he's weak is because his moves have no power behind them. But if you look at how he punches and kicks, it's possible to give him very good normals in this game. He does throw a lot of attack flurries, so having a fast punch flurry followed by a fast kick flurry on his light attacks I think would be fitting. And then for the third hit of the auto combo, he does the classic HEY! WHAT'S THAT?! and chops the opponent's neck while he's distracted just like he did with Majin Buu. This elbow right here when he's imagining how to beat Trunks 
Trunks and Goten can be his standing medium, Satan Punch from Dragon Ball Super can be his standing heavy attack, and in the air he'd have a regular punch, a signature dynamite kick, and a karate chop as his normal moves. I don't think Mr. Satan should have an aerial launcher, he can fly in his imagination but he's still much more used to fighting on the ground, so for his jumping down heavy we're gonna give him a dive kick, he does this a lot. The dive kick would put the opponent in a sliding knockdown, similar to Gogeta. And now my editor is gonna take all of these moves and animate Mr. Satan's combo. Ha, ha, ha. God damn it, rain again. Instead of a reflect, we're also gonna give Mr. Satan a spot dodge. Same as Videl. Mr. Satan is the father, and he also taught her everything she knew until Gohan came along. And besides, there are some pretty funny moments of Mr. Satan dodging attacks from stronger enemies. So if he could have a spot dodge like Videl, it'd definitely be fitting. Plus, give him a couple of frames with a ridiculous face while he's dodging, just to add to his character. Now, so far he's not a character with a lot of gimmicks, but that's not the Mr. Satan we know. So for his special attack button, instead of key blasts, let's give Mr. Satan something more fitting to his character. We're gonna give Mr. Satan the ability to run away. Yep, that's it. You press the special button and he just runs away or backflips back to a safe distance after he's done with his block string. In a way, it's similar to what Hit does with his stance just backing off or Yamcha taking a step back during his wolf fang fist. Now, because this is still a normal attack, he might also use it as bait and come right back at you with a special move. So let's see what he's got for specials. First up, the rolling dash punch. Mr. Satan does this move during the world tournament final against Trunks, Gotenks and Android 18. By the time he reaches the kids though, they're already gone. In the game this would translate as Mr. Satan rolling for a bit and during the roll animation he could probably deflect key blasts and then jumping at his opponent with a lariat type move. The light attack version should have shorter range, the medium could have a longer range but be slow and the heavy attack button is Mr. Satan's fuck neutral. Our next special is yet another Mr. Satan gimmick, one that we kinda don't have in fighters yet. Mr. Satan would pull out a bomb and either throw it or leave it on the ground. He can have many different bombs depending on the button we press. The light, the medium and the heavy attack buttons can either throw a bomb or place it directly on the ground and Mr. Satan has used a few things that could be explosive in the show. He can throw Android 16's head, he can leave a Game Boy on the ground or even a case full of cash. These stay on the ground for a while and if the opponent steps on them, kaboom. This type of trap or zone control is actually quite common in other fighting games but in Dragon Ball, even though some characters can set up Cyberman for instance, it's not really the same thing is saying this part of the ground is mine and if you want it you're gonna have to blow up we can even add some rng to the type of trap that comes out if we want to make him even more of a gimmicky character i hate that and i'd probably never play him but it definitely fits mr satan and his final special is another gimmick of course the taunt mr satan taunts his opponents very often and in many different ways in battle often believing that he can beat them being completely oblivious to how strong they truly are i think giving him a taunt mechanic would definitely bring the character to life so you input the command and Mr. Satan does one of his many taunts. And then what happens? Good question. I thought of a couple of effects this could have on the opponent, but my favorite is disabling his assists. The idea behind this is that your opponent is so angry that he's just been taunted by Mr. Satan that the active character refuses the help of his supports. He just wants to take on Mr. Satan by himself. Of course, the taunt leaves Mr. Satan completely open and it wouldn't disable assists for too long, maybe just one or two seconds, you know, just enough to win the neutral with your own assists. And that's it for specials, keeping it simple with Mr. Satan, but at the same time, giving him some fun gimmicks that definitely make him unique. Now, moving on to his supers, I'm only giving him two supers. He's gonna be a point character with all these gimmicks, so he doesn't need a ton of supers here. And also his specials have enough gimmicks that I feel good about giving him some regular supers. Otherwise, this character might be too much. His level one is the Ultra Megaton Punch. It's his ultimate move. He says so himself when he hits Android 18 in the World Tournament Finals. This might not be that special of a move considering Dragon Ball as a whole, but it's special to him. Him. It has to be a super. Look at his face, he's so proud of himself. And then his level 3 is the Super Mr. Satan. In Dragon Ball Super, people believe it was Mr. Satan who defeated Lord Beerus when he first came to Earth. When telling the story, Mr. Satan says that he attained a new power. He turned Super Saiyan. He then unleashed a flurry of attacks on Beerus and this would be his level 3 super. He transforms, does the attacks and then reverts back to normal, similar to Bardock. Remember, this whole fight takes place in his imagination and because of this gimmick, we're able to include this awesome moment from Dragon Ball Super. And that about wraps it up, that's Mr. Satan's moveset. 
I think it'd be cool if you had a dramatic finish or intro with Cell in the Cell Games Arena. You know what I'm talking about. I want to see Mr. Satan getting slapped by Cell. But I'm less hopeful for these cool dramatics as time goes. It seems that Goku is the only one that gets those, but hey, I guess it's better than nothing. But yeah, to summarize, his normals actually look very good and sort of standard, with the exception of his jumping down heavy, which is a dive kick and not a launcher. His special attack button is a retreating move where he runs away or backflips. And then for special attacks, we've got the rolling dash punch, the bomb traps, and the taunt. And then for his supers, the Megaton Punch for his level 1, and Mr. Super Satan for his level 3. What do you guys think of this moveset? Is this a character you would try to play? It's quite different, so I'm curious if this is someone you would give a go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and don't forget to check out surfshark.deal slash Globku, make sure you grab that amazing discount. And as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Globku, and I'll see you next time. Boy!